these <laughs> instruments you play? Just list some. What do we got? Uh, well, I play in percussion mostly, but it has a lot of subsections. Like, I play xylophone, drums, marimba. I play in my school's uh, marching band. I play bass drum. That's incredible. How do you pick all those up? Uh, well, they all kind of have the same theory to them once you learn about them, but it's I just get a lot of enjoyment out you, of them. Are you a Guitar Hero fan? Like, video game style? <laughs> I haven't played that in a long time. All right. Well, uh, David, you're a 12th grader. Uh, you're in, like, every club. If you go to your school, you're going to see you everywhere. Tell us some of the ones you're in. What's your favorite? Um, my favorite one, I'd have to say, is Safe Club. Yeah. Uh, but I'm in Safe, LMTI, Chess Club, Book Club, uh, you name them. How uh, do you have time for everything? You don't. You pick and choose which ones. So, <laughs> like, is David coming today? Not showing up again. He's at Safe. <laughs> hey, guys, $500 on the line. Those buzzers could be in your hand if you guys take it home today. Off to a great start. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Mr. Plaley. Three great kids over there. Absolutely. Uh, $500 if you guys win it. Where's it going? It is going towards the marching band. They need new hats. Right. You can't march if you don't have hats. Right. That's a general rule for everyone at home. <laughs> All right. So journalism, you're a fourth-year teacher. Uh, dude, you're kind of a throwback jams guy. Who's your favorite all-time artist? I got to go with Weird Al. That's a Absolutely. weird. That's a weird answer. <laughs> For some. So you just throw Weird Al on and sing and rock and roll. Yeah, there's a couple different mixes you have to put on shuffle and yeah. All right, well, Mr. Pelly's house is going to be pumping for the next party, man. We're excited. <laughs> Mr. Rodriguez, music teacher, second year. Uh, not only are you a teacher, but you're also a student. Yeah, I'm always learning, always learning, and I love showing that to my students too. So you're you're taking your doctorate at Temple right now? Yep, I am. What's harder, your work or Temple's work? Oh, uh, well, it's all about balances. You know, it, who gives back? more homework? Oh, uh, well, uh, they probably give me more homework than I give my students. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give any homework to kids. That's the best way to go. <laughs> Mr. Fogland, math year. Guys, first year teacher right here. Look how happy he is. This guy is refreshed. All right, what's the biggest surprise from a first year teacher? So I have to say the biggest surprise for me has been how really how awesome the students are and how bright they are, even though they're going to lose today. Ooh! Well, he's setting the tone right now because it is time to send somebody to detention. Let's go. You guys feeling that? I'm feeling it. He wants you. Let's go. All right, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention's going to work. I'm going to give the trailing team, so students, we're going to start with you, a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to pass or play. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, they can choose one of you to go to detention. If you pass, the other team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody else to detention is going to win 40 points. The game is still tight, so anybody can win this one. Category, we're going to start with our students here. Animals. What do you think? All right, we're going to pass. Pass, and I heard under the breath because they won't get it. <laughs> Here we go. Here's your question. Frogs, salamanders, and toads are what type of cold-blooded vertebrates? Amphibians. Amphibian. Amphibian is right. The pass came back to bite the students. And just like that, not only does the pass hurt, guys, but somebody is going to detention. Teachers, who is it? Luke. Luke out of the game. Team captain is no longer a plan. That's it. Sorry, pal. You ever get a detention in high school? So this is the first time? Yeah. Oh, good, man. Well, enjoy. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your stay here. As we get right back into it, teachers, categories on you. How do you feel about abbreviations? Do you want to play that or send that to the students and say, prove it? We can. We can take it. Yeah, we can take it, I think. We'll take it. Here we go. In the sleep stages, REM stands for what? Rapid eye movement. Rapid eye movement. Rapid eye movement is correct. <laughs> Call it RSC, Rapid Student Elimination, because somebody else is going to detention. Teachers, you got your choice again. Let's go down the line. We'll do Natalie. <laughs> Picking them off one by one. Natalie, you're out of there, leaving David as our sole survivor. David, it's not impossible for you to come back here. You just got to get three right, choose, pass, or play as the right one as we head into the category of sports. Pass. Wow. The last pass came back to bite him. Guys, this is for the round here. In football, what is the term for a forward pass that is caught by a defensive player? 
Interception. Interception. For the win and another pass. Heard some <laughs> students were out of there, David. You got to go to detention. Teachers are up to 90 points for the game. Students want 30. Guys, don't go anywhere because we come back. We're going to see how well they can put letters together to form words. two-step. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Pennsville Memorial High School in Salem County. They're going head-to-head. -head. The score, teachers in the lead right now, the slight lead, 90 points for them. Students with 30, but there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win this thing. So let's get right back into it with some spell check. Okay, guys. Here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, you're officially out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing, they're going to get 10 points just for making it through the round. Time starts now. Let's play spell check. Here we go. We're going to start with you. Grace. G R A. C E. Focus. F O C U S. Realm. R E A L M. With a smile on your face. <laughs> Morale. M O R A. M O R A L E. Nice. Either. E I T H E R. Drummer. Uh, D R A. Sorry, bud. Out of there. Coexist. C O E X I S T. Analyze. A N A L Y Z E. Legibly. L E G I V L T. Out of there. Down to two a piece here. Natalie. Interval. I N T E R V A L. Good. Amateur. A M A T E U R. Vagabond. V A G A B O N D. Upheaval. U P H E A V E L. A L. Out of there. Down to one teacher left. Commotion. C O M M O T I O N. Good. Sergeant. S A R G. S-E-R, you're out of there, and that's the last teacher on the board, which means students coming up to 60 points. To our teacher's 90. It's getting closer. What's going to happen? Who knows? But we're not done yet. We're taking a field trip and gearing up for that final exam. The classroom still in session when we come back. My spellers, bam! party you guys will always hype it up it's going to be cooler check out who i'm with first of all welcome back to the classroom today we have students versus teachers from pennsville memorial high school in salem county new jersey i'm out here because these guys have been hyping it up all show you having fun so far yeah, yeah like we're having a good time check out who we have here this is your name danielle this is danielle Allie, Allie noel. and noel down all the way at the end you guys have been crushing it because this guy right here has been big news in new jersey tell me what's going on with him well he just won the um mascot in New Jersey. The best mascot in New Jersey. That's incredible. Hey, Elliot, very, this is Elliot the Eagle. Very nice to meet you, Elliot. Show these people, what is it about him that, that really gets people going? Well, he joins dances in our halftime routines during football games. He shows up to every, like, So he's, sport. he's cool spirit through and through. All right, yeah. so, Elliot, give me a little taste of what we got. Do you guys know that Roly one we were talking about? Hit him with the Roly. Let's go. Oh, Rolly. hit him with that Roly, and then the dab, Elliot, is on fire, man. Yeah. Give him some love. This guy. I'm voting. My official vote. I agree. He is the best mascot in New Jersey. And we have one of the best schools in New Jersey playing it out right now. The score's tight, guys. It's 90 points for our teachers, 60 points for the students. And you know what time it is? You hear that? We're hopping aboard the bus. We're going on a field trip. Let's go! I'm not going to lie. 
I love a good field trip, guys. As teachers, you know the answer. It's yes. We'll always go on that field trip. <laughs> Teams, grab your buzzers. Today, we're taking a field trip to the Wells Fargo Center to see how much we know about hockey. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. A member of the other team can buzz in and steal those points. Any hockey players here today? Perfect. We're nice and even then. No one plays hockey, but we all love it. Fox 29 sports anchor Kristen Rogers, she's asking the questions today. She's driving the bus. Kristen, we're buckled up. Let's go. Hey, Richard, that's right. I am outside of the Wells Fargo Center, home of the Philadelphia Flyers, and here is your first question. Which team won the 2018 Stanley Cup? Uh-oh. <laughs> We could blank here one second. Nobody answered, guys. The Washington Capitals. It certainly wasn't the Flyers, Kristen. I know you have something else for us. These guys love hockey. What's question number two? <laughs> and your next question, how many minutes do you serve in the penalty box for a minor penalty? Mr. Foglin, two minutes. Two minutes is right. That is correct. That's going to bank you 10 more points, Mr. Foglin. You spend any time in the penalty box? A little. A little. That's my man. All right, guys, here's question number three. Kristen, what is it? And finally, which team did the U.S. women's national hockey team beat in a shootout in the 2018 Winter Olympics? Mr. Foglin again. Canada. Canada's right, bringing you guys up to 110 points in the game. Foglin ended up being a hockey genius over there. A big thanks to Kristen Rogers for leading our field trip today. She always does such a fantastic job. And what fun. You get to go to all the sports arena. Kristen, thank you very much. Hey, let's take a look at our scores. 110 for the teachers right now. 60 for the students. Both teams have a chance to win because they know how to cram for the final exam. Okay, big news. The topic of today's final exam is world leaders. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, guys, worth 100 points for your bottom line. So, teams, you're going to work together on this during the commercial break. Pens down for now. You don't have to write anything. But first, let's hear these questions. The first question on the final exam, what is the last name of the current Russian president? Question number two, under world leaders, what is the name of Panem's leader in the Hunger Games novel? Question number three, there have been two sets of father-son presidents of the United States. One set with the last name Adams and another set with what last name? Okay. We know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it. Come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to see which team will ace this final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. So come on back. But first, if you want to be a part of the show, here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. everybody at home into the classroom today we have students and teachers from Pennsville Memorial High School they're going head to head right now the scores teachers in the lead currently 110 points on the board for them to the students 60 it's anybody's game the top of today's final exam is world leaders I saw some smiles over here from the students they seem to like that ca category before we went to break so I asked these teams three questions apiece don't forget guys each correct answer 100 points for your bottom line so that's 300 points that you guys can grab here in the final exam so let's do it let's see who aced this final exam take that money hopefully it's for the buzzers and the bragging rights teachers we all want to beat those students back to their school so let's do it question number one of the final exam was what is the last name of the current Russian president this is something we hear in the news all the time so David we're gonna start with you student said Putin. Putin is correct for 100 points for you guys. And all of a sudden, we're in the lead. Luke, you feel that? You feel that win? 
The oh, excitement yeah. level out of this oh, yeah. team is second to none, something I've never seen before. Guys, try to tame yourselves here. As we head back to our teachers, Mr. Foglin, dancing during the commercial break, are you going to continue dancing now with this answer? Yes, I am. We also said Putin. Putin, 100 points for them. 210, 160. And we move right into question number two. This is called doing the Fuglin, by the way. I saw it. <laughs> Hold on to it. Question number two. Here we go. What is the name of Pan Am's leader in the Hunger Games novel? I love this movie. <laughs> Students have to love this movie. So we're going to go with you guys first. You said, Natalie? President Snow. President Snow. That's correct. Up to 260. And the current lead here. Back on top. Luke, give me that energy level. Oh, yeah. Let's there go. it is. He's back. <laughs> As we get to the teachers, you guys don't watch movies. You're always in the classroom, right? We all know teachers don't leave the classroom. We live there. Mr. Rodriguez, you said? Mayweather. Mayweather is incorrect, which means students hold the lead after the second question, and it all comes down to this final question. There have been two sets of father-son presidents of the United States, one set with the last name Adams, and another set with what last name? Teachers, you've done well all game. Mr. Plilly, you need this to get back in the lead. If you get this incorrect, Students, get ready to rock it on the dance floor because you guys are winning that $500. I can feel the buzzers now. If you get it right, we put it back to the students. Mr. Pelle, you said? Bush. For 100 points and the lead. And just like that, it comes down to our final question. Students, if you said Bush, the game is yours. The buzzers are in hand. The academic team is winning that money. If not, teachers are taking this back to your school. Did you say? Bush. Indeed we did. Bush is the winner. And they come from behind to win this thing. The squad, get it out here, teachers. Come on out. $500 is going back with these guys. We're getting new buzzers for that academic team. Until next time, I want to thank you guys for being here. Join us next for more Classroom and Fogland doing the coolest Fogland dance around. Give it to them. Oh, oh, doing the Fogland. We're starting the boy band.